Welcome to lesson 7. In this lesson, I'll discuss Arduino shields. So what is a shield? Till now, you have learned what is a library. So what library is for software, shield is for hardware. So shield is a separate circuit board that sits on top of Arduino board. Like libraries, Shields are used for a specific purpose or for a special hardware. Suppose you want to interface relay with Arduino, you can make or you can use a circuit of relay. And if that circuit is a shield, then that circuit will perfectly sit on top of your Arduino board. There are relay shields available in market. You can uh, purchase them too. Shields bring extra functionality to main Arduino board. Sometimes uh, uh, shields have special sensors, special actuators, so that you can handle many uh, other peripherals with Arduino. Many shields can stack on top of the main Arduino board, like it can be a stack. See this image. Shields can stack up your Arduino board and your functionalities will also be extended and enhanced. Shields which are available in market are, I am giving you examples, motor shields, ethernet shields, relay shields, like that there are many shields available uh, online also. Let me show you a shield in action. I have here is an ethernet shield. This Ethernet shield enables my Arduino board to communicate in a local area network through this Ethernet port. You can see this is the Ethernet port and this IC is the Ethernet controller. Along with the Ethernet interface, I have a SD card interface. Through this, I can communicate also with the SD card. This shield is connected to this Arduino pin header and it looks like a stack. Shield sits on top of my Arduino board and connected this way and these Arduino pins are extended in these pin headers. That means I can put another shield on top of this shield on top of this Ethernet shield. That way it will be a stack of boards on top of Arduino and pins will be extended. This is how a shield is uh, extended the pins by connecting with Arduino and they are providing this kind of connectors. In the next section, I'll discuss important Arduino functions like digital write, digital read, analog read, analog write, etc.